Each murder was the product of calculated and lengthy planning and was committed with a high level of cruelty and callousness. Some of your victims were children. Others were murdered by you as they lay wounded and incapacitated. If a minimum period of imprisonment was to be imposed, that bare summary of aggravating features would indicate a starting point considerably higher than 17 years. A single murder committed in such circumstances would warrant such a minimum term. Your act of terrorism resulted in the murder of 51 people and the serious wounding of 40 more. You shot people in the back and ignored the pleas of the wounded to be spared. You advanced on them, stood over them, and viciously took their lives. Most of your victims were at prayer. You violated places of worship where people came together for peace and fellowship. Like the rest of the country, the worshippers had no inkling of the terror and carnage that was about to be per perpetuated. Having given the matter much consideration, I am satisfied that no minimum period of imprisonment would be sufficient to satisfy the legitimate need to hold you to account for the harm you have done to the community. Nor do I consider that any minimum term of imprisonment would be sufficient to denounce your crimes. On each of the 51 charges of murder, charges 1 to 51, you were sentenced to life imprisonment. I order that you serve the sentences without parole. On each of the 40 charges of attempted murder, charges 52 to 91, you were sentenced to concurrent terms of 12 years in prison. On the charge of committing a terrorist act, charge 92, you were sentenced to life imprisonment. <laughs> Uh, the, the loss is, is, is really big, but again, we are trying just to move on, not moving forward, and this, this thing will, will make us move on. He tried to look as strong as he can. He tried to look like he didn't, doesn't care, and I'm very sure that he was so much screaming and crying inside yeah. him.